Okay, this is the help video for Access Chapter 5, the prepare case. We're on step number 8. This is the third mo movie. So we're going to move into a series of um, steps that do with validation rules. And so validation rules, when you apply them on uh, a field, so that validation follows it. So if you were to make a form, it would that validation rule would apply. And what you can do is ensure that the data that's being entered is within a certain parameter. So let's look at what this says. Validation rules help verify that entered data is accurate given a, a business rule. So you have to have some kind of rule that you need to apply. So when the enter the user enters a value, it evaluates it against this rule. The data, if the data doesn't follow, then you get a little error message or text that helps the user out. So we're going to um, be in design view for table employee. We're going to modify um, the hire date so that when an employee uh, records are added to the table, the hire date cannot be entered after 14 days from the current date. Okay, so we need to come down to our properties and there's two properties that we're going to deal with. One is the validation rule and one is the validation text. So I'm going to right click and zoom so you can see my um, you can see my validation rule. So what we're going to say here is greater than or equal to the date minus 14. So what does that mean and how the heck would you know that? Well, so date with the parentheses open and close is a function that's part of access that would return the system date. So whatever today's current date is, using date open close parentheses without supplying anything, it would pull today's date. We're taking today's date and we're subtracting 14. So we're moving two weeks into the past and we're saying greater than or equal to so that this higher date has to be 14 days ago or or up to today. Okay, so we're going to do that and it puts it right in there and then we're going to do a validation rule. And so if I put a date in that's more than 14 days ago, what kind of a message do you want to have appear? So this is what we're going to do in the validation text. Um, the, let's see, this employee began working more than 14 days ago. Please, and I put, please call the corporate office at 800-555-4022 period. So it says include the period. So this would be the message that you would receive if you were trying to put in a new hire and it's been more than two weeks. Okay, All right, so that goes there. So we're going to save that. I don't want to test, so we're going to say no. So eight was done and no, and nine is done. So, okay, so the next one is modify the validation rule for the salary field in the employee table so that no salary can exceed $200,000. So pick the field, come down to the properties, find validation rule. And now you can type it right in here. I'm gonna right click and zoom so it's a little bit clearer on your screen. So we want, so the rule is that the salary has to be less than or equal to 200,000. So don't put any commas in there, right? Just leave it the numbers. So we're saying the rule is that the salary, whatever's entered, can be any number up to and include 200,000. 
So if that is not the case, if it is a number that's over 200,000, what do we want to put here? So we're going to say the maximum salary an employee can earn is 200,000. Please re-enter this employee's salary period. Okay. We're going to save it. We're going to say no. So let's go over to data sheet. So we're done with 10. We're done with 11. And let's put in number 12. Switch to data sheet and add these new records. Dolly Hunt 24600 08252029 Golf Technician. Well, that one worked. I'm going to try something bigger. There we go. So look, I tried to put 800,000. Oh, I got one too many zeros there. And then 0825, 2029. So let me say 20. All right, this employee worked more, started working more than 14. Please call corporate. Okay. Oh, I got a typo here. This should be 29. Golf. Professional. So in both cases, I, I made this 800,000 and I made this um, uh, 2020 instead of 2029. In both of those, it gave me the um, warning and it um, allowed me to fix it. So that's a really good thing. So you can control that data that's coming in. Okay. So I'm going to stop this movie here, and we'll pick up with step 13, moving on to the next movie. Thank you.